name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with you. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, who are wonderful in the virtue of all your saints, grant us joy in the yearly commemoration of St. Clement, who is a martyr and high priest of your Son, bore out by his witness what, we, what he celebrated in mystery, and confirmed by example what he preached with his lips to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Maccabees, chapter 2, 15 to 29. The officers of the king in charge of enforcing the apostasy came to the city of Modin to organize the sacrifices. Many of Israel joined them, but Matthias and his sons gathered in a group apart. Then the officers of the king addressed Matthias, You are a leader, an honorable and great man in this city, supported by sons and kin. Come now, be the first to obey the king's command as all the Gentiles and the men of Judah and those who are left in Jerusalem have done. Then you and your sons shall be numbered among the king's friends and shall be enriched with silver and gold and many gifts. But Matthias answered in a loud voice, Although all the Gentiles in the king's realm obey him, so that each forsakes the religion of his fathers, and consents to the king's orders, yet I and my sons and my kin will keep to the covenant of our fathers. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the commandments. We will not obey the words of the king, nor depart from our religion in the slightest degree. As he finished saying these words, a certain Jew came forward in the sight of all the offer sacrifice on the altar in Moden, according to the king's order. When Matthias saw him, he was filled with zeal, his heart was moved, and his just fury was aroused. He sprang forward and killed him upon the altar. At the same time, he also killed the messenger of the king, who was forcing them to sacrifice, and he tore down the altar. Thus he showed his zeal for the law. Just as Phinehas did with Zimri, son of Salu. Then Matthias went through the city shouting, Let everyone who is zealous for the law and who stands by the covenant follow after me. Thereupon he fled to the mountains with his sons, leaving behind in the city all their possessions. Many who sought to live accordingly to the righteousness and religious custom went out to the desert to settle there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the number 50. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth. From the rising of the sun to its settings. From Zion perfect in beauty, God, God shines forth. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice, and fulfill your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in time of distress. I will rescue you 
and ye shall glorify me. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. Hallelujah. 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 If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise, raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us sum up our prayer now with our traditional prayer for all our receipts. Eternal rest, my name is in the Lord, and let them take your life as your body. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed. For the mercy of God rest in you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and good of all the sons of the church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessings upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that blessed Clement professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed Master, Martyr Clement, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power. And on the feeble be so strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Today we'll pray the first Eucharistic prayer because Clement is in there and a quote from St. Clement the First. He said, Eat my flesh, Jesus says, and drink my blood. The Lord supplies us with these intimate nutrients. He delivers over his flesh and pours out his blood, and nothing is lacking for the growth of his children. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, Louis, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise of the offering for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and the hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, 
Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles are martyred, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this obligation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to your God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, <coughs> broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as ones who are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels to your altar and high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, which on the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merit, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, for on the face of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my glory, but I love you to say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> Made new by these sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, that imitating the wondrous constancy of blessed Clement, we may merit an eternal reward for sufferings endured through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Masters ended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.